All right, so um, it's May 28th, 2020, around 8.30, no, 8.55 p.m. Um, in Oroville, California, downtown, and I'm painting, finishing up some paintings um, that I started a long, long, long time ago. So uh, I was gifted the space to, to do this work, you know, and to be uh, in the middle of downtown and having, uh, having uh, eggs thrown at the door and all that stuff like that. No, I'm just kidding. No, but uh, it's been, um, you know, the thing, the thing with all this stuff is my belief system is, is been under fire because, you know, as an artist, I seek the truth. And, um, you know, whether that be in love or storytelling or in, uh, in the way the world works, the way people are, the way people work, and uh, the truth in myself, you know, like that's what art is, is creating, um, pulling back the layers of, of, of what we believe and what is, you know. So as I make these videos, this is actually going in the drama blog. So um, like I've been saying, I've been wanting to create other blogs, but it really doesn't feel right to talk about other stuff when there's still questions about um, what's happened and, and what is happening currently because of what the perceptions of what happened and, and personal, you know, very personal uh, issues with, in my life um, that seem to have affected a lot of other stuff. So that is my goal with these videos and uh, I want to move, you know, move uh, forward to not keep talking about the same stuff but actually try and get to, uh, to answer some of these unasked questions, you know, it's just like these um, you know, these insinuations of, or, you know, these kind of like, for me, it's, you know, it's, it's all going in blind and kind of seeing what people want, but not being asked exactly what they want. And from different places, you know, if it wasn't coming from like people I know, our family members or you know, communities that I'm in or, you know, weird stuff, you know, so, you know, I haven't been able to address it because you know it's the world is moving without me and I've been just trying to catch up to find out you know uh, what's going on and as I've been finding out what's going on by uh, realizing how monumentous these this story has gotten from the beginning you know it was like the thing is the only thing that I know is actually my life my personal life my uh, my personal walk um, so that's really all I can really talk about and just kind of other things as I keep going so, um, you know, for the people that are watching this, I'm gonna refer it to his fellow humans, or friends. I was gonna say friends, but that just doesn't seem right because there's a lot of different people. Um, you know, not everybody's really responding personally to me about these blogs. I feel like writing, writing, um, like typing or whatever, paper, uh, writings, you know, prose or whatever, 
is more effective, just it's easier to reference other than talking, but I don't have the mentality and time to be doing that. Even these blogs take a lot of energy, but uh, like I said, it's on my mind and it's on, seem to be on other people's minds still, but we're still going through, this COVID-19 is happening. Um, you know, I mean, that's kind of crazy just by itself, but it keeps going. And you want. So, you know, to be afraid for your life at these times is relevant, you know? I mean, as an artist, to me, it's, it's more scary because um, because freedom seems to be You know, put yourself out there to talk about um, important issues, and you know, it seems like people don't really people respond. You know, you see these protests and stuff like, but when you question, like, it's it's tough to not to get uh, to get. Um, Uh, what do you call that? Blacklisted or whatever. Uh, for political reasons. Which, you know, political reasons are what moves the world um, economically and, and uh, socially. So, you know, as I get older, you know, I'm just learning all this stuff. But, um, you know, people, okay, so it's funny, because when I started these videos in like 2016 or something, these drama blogs, um, and I really went for it in 2017, when I was in San Jose, I started those, and then since I've been here, 2018 and 19, um, I made a lot of them and, and put up a lot of uh, videos that I had created while I was in, two, in 2000. While I was in Chico and, and went to art school, so a lot of my personal life. Um, so it's kind of weird, you know, it's, it's not that I want uh, an audience for my personal life. But the thing is, it was funny because I, I thought that I needed attention and eyes on the situation. And I didn't realize there was a lot of people already looking and discussing and involved in in my my personal walk and and my relation with the world. And the reason I say this and what has happened with painting, finishing up all these paintings and watching these movies and stuff has been. Um, really revealing to me you know it sounds like I'm crazy but I'm not because it's like okay so when I mentioned heroes I think I wrote it down I don't know if I talked about it the TV show I was watching the show in 2000 um, 2015 or, or blah, blah, blah. in 2004 I was watching the show 2003 2004 I guess and I was with this girl uh, that uh I was with and you know we watched it and it was like a superhero thing so the girlfriend at the time she would be like you know she wasn't a superhero fan but superheroes became popular to the mass media Daredevil the first Daredevil came out and you know uh, Batman everybody liked the Batman dark are the first ones the first Tim Burton ones and then Spider-Man had came out the uh, Toby Maguire ones so you know she would go to the conventions with me and uh, you know and watch and you know be kind of interested in you know kind of in the superhero stuff but it wasn't until Heroes the TV show came out that she actually we were both watching them all you know every time they came out or they were, they were uh, 
we also watched American Idol, you know what I mean? So it wasn't, it wasn't um, one-sided. But I didn't realize the TV show, even, I watched all these TV shows and I didn't realize like what the, you know, I thought they were just like, kind of like my stories that I created, but I didn't really realize like, they are actually like using my stuff as reference and it was a whole thing, you know, it was a whole freaking industry thing, I guess. So as I'm older and I'm still broke and I'm still in this same town that I've been in and still working on art from the old days, like, I'm kind of like, man, what the fuck, you know, like, my legacy and what I wanted to do with this, my life was, has been uh, greatly um, paused, you know. Um, so, and it's weird because, you know, these normal people keep coming around and there's like, you know, like I said, throwing eggs, throwing tomatoes with their words or whatever, their little actions. And it's pissing me off just because they must not know the stories or they must not uh, know the real story and they must not be watching these blogs because they would know that I'm pretty pissed off, you know what I mean, about being uh, criticized by strangers and uh, being having my name out there uh, by obviously people that have issues with me. And the scariest thing is is actually, you know, whole groups of uh, the underworld having my name out there with these allegations. And that's kind of, and then, you know, feeling like authorities are watching me. You know what I mean? Like, dude, I'm not a criminal. It's like, dude, these guys are like, so that's really, so it's kind of like just this unknown entities that I don't know what's been said or put out on me. And the things that um, that I've kind of caught on to on the reference was like, dude, like, do you really want me to explain my personal life uh, on video? You know what I mean? Or not just on video, but at least it'll be for me. So some of the things that, um, that I want to cut down first uh, just to be safe and so I can finish these works and kind of get what I need to get done. Um, okay, well, Heroes, like I said, Heroes was, um, dude, I swear, dude, like right now, like that cow right there, it's, those are two paintings actually. So there's like this one, these group of paintings that I started uh, before I went to art school. Um, and in San Francisco and like, you know there's a bomb right there so when I watched Heroes I was kind of like oh that's cool that they're going there but then I was like you know is that is that referencing Tales of Scarcity because this is Tales of Scarcity stuff is that referencing like they're you know what I mean I kind of got used to it I Robot came out and, and you know uh, so I was kind of like, what? But then, you know, and superhero stuff, and then the guy painting that, you know, did heroin, I guess, to do his paintings and, you know, which was a Chicano dude, Mendez or whatever. So he was, uh, so I thought it was cool just because there was some different culture or, you know, uh, yeah, different races in there or whatever. But at the same time, I was kind of like, you know, the artist was Tim Sale, which was, a, he was he's a great artist. Uh, but some of the work on, I don't know, he's good, so he was good. I liked his graphic novels. and So Heroes came out, but I didn't know it was biting on stuff and putting some real stuff in there, you know, like, so I don't know what's the reality of it or what's the fakeness of it and how they even knew about it, like what my mine and my brother's plans. My thing is, I think there was some real shit going on uh, when I was 13 
carried on from my childhood to 13 where I don't know if the FBI or what authorities were checking my family out and uh, they must have hurt or if it was a leak in the from my brother or because it was only conversations between me and him that we fleshed out the story and we put it out and you know kind of like figured out what we're gonna be talking about so I'm thinking like somebody must have been listening and recording the conversations about the books and the storyline and then mixing it up with like real life and stuff because uh, um, you know as of the as of the moment now you know there's a whole thing about aliens and if I was visited by aliens or if, if Ocross was uh, was um, was that something from the cancer thing because it was people in my family that died of cancer and people that I knew that passed from cancer that now cause I didn't even know what that meant like I just named it it was just a painting you know it was just like messing around and so I don't know what the scientists seen in that like if they're if it's like why orange is important you know like what if that it looks like one of the cells that cancer looks like or something or but I did paint my face like a skull so are you know skullish like it had a bunch of colors it's just a photograph but it was just so and this was when I was like 20 so so in like 2000 2000 or not yeah two, no 98 nine, 98 1997 1998 around that era, area. 2007, actually, um, or 2006 even. Oh, wait, wait, not 2000. 1997, 1996 was when I was taking a painting class and I painted that painting at the Highlands Apartments. So Sarah, the mother of my son Isaiah, um, somehow was involved and knew about some of the stuff happening which i didn't know what was happening but now that i do know a lot of the stuff starting to make sense and one of it is this cancer thing oh cross right so i don't know if they like so the thing with uh the issues of my with my family and the authorities and all this stuff like that is and the uh gangs and the and the drug dealers and the all this shit you know what i mean all this fucking shit that's been going on for generations it's not like started with my parents or it from my grandparents this shit like the whole this whole uh american love story between mexicans and white folks and native americans has been going on for a really long time and that's where it stems from it's not I did something and, and people were tripping on me. It's actually the fear that they've been having for a really long time and they keep people under surveillance. You know, this is something that they've been doing to Native Americans from the beginning and that's why they have them on reservations. So this is not, oh, you know, you're Mexican so you're not Native. That's not the case and that's something that, you know, through the reservations and the money that they give the people on the reservations and you know like Native Americans feel like they're different than the Mexicans and and the natives from down south which they're only territorial because they receive certain benefits that they don't want to sh that they feel you know like these Mexicans that come from the south are you know different than them so different that they're not even included but there's a lot of people that understand that that's not the case, that they, they call, that they know that we're all related, especially the people, the bloodlines from these continents. Mexico's right there, you know what I mean? Mexico and the natives from the Aztecs are northern Mexico, Central uh, America, and California, you know, they've been traveling up and down these continents forever. So the idea that their, their history 
the native people of, of these reservations up here in the United States of America are mistaken if they, and it's not their fault, they're just uneducated, but, and they're scared, you know, like they, they want to, you know, believe the history that they've been given and, and uh, believe that we're, we're different bloodlines. So from what I understand is, you know, it's, it's been going on on all these continents and my family has been included. And particularly me and my brother through these stories have, I guess, you know, through a little bit, you know, it's, we call it intu intuition. We call it um, dreams. We see things through dreams. We see three, we see things, uh, you know, there's been experiments in the war on these native, on Native Americans, like just, you know, cut, cutting their hair off, breaking them off from tradition, uh, trying to, uh, uh, to mix their blood, bloodlines so that they start looking like Europeans. Um, it's been going on for a really long time and, and they've really moved move that forward in their in uh, agendas that's been going on recently you know in the last 20 years especially since George Bush been president and this is you know like I said you know when saying this stuff is not something that is taken lightly by me or by the people that have been walking around with me and uh, videoing me and, and uh, having power over my life. And even if the promises that they have, like, oh, you know, I'm gonna be able to get what I want, I'm not gonna die of cancer, I'm not gonna die, you know, like, basically they're not gonna kill me. But at the same time, that is gonna have to be something that I'm not. I have to change who I am and also uh, shut up. And, and that's not something, I'm not, God didn't make me that way. And so you're religious, as far as religions, and a lot of people under, are getting this and understanding it, the religious side of, of what's going on is the reality of, of the, the, um, the, uh, the uh, occupation of, of, of this country's, of the red people. So, and it's crazy because the avatar came out and that really looked like, and I, this just came out like later after Heroes, but I mean, I love the show, dude. Like when I watched the show, it was just awesome. And I didn't watch them all. I'm watching them right now on Netflix, but I didn't realize also that they, that that actually was something that happened, you know, that they took inspiration from uh, the, the Poet King these guys when they were kids when I painted them and uh, you know I had wrote, written some storylines down and so but they took it to the to what they knew because I didn't even know anything about you know the four nations and stuff like that and this is something that I've learned when I was painting the mural at Chico State in 2011 12 so when Facebook happened and all this stuff and the internet, a lot of information got out, and I was in, right there in the middle, I guess. And so, this has been, uh, and the thing is, I've, I've known through my art and my music that I was being uh, minimalized by the locals here, the white people that are like, these old white people musicians that like, some of them were really cool, some of them were nice, but it seems like, I don't know if they were, undercover they act like they're undercover FBI CIA guys but you know they're probably just dudes that uh, that have ties to the underground organizations of the white folks whatever they do around this town you know because this town is actually really involved in making meth and their uh, their prison system and the water they got the water so this you know it's a pretty dark town there's nice people but there's a dark underground that they have a lot of problems, criminal problems here, and 
I haven't really been involved, I don't really know, but I've been raised around here since I was a teenager. And all my friends and everybody, you know, they talked about it and they, you know, it's, it's something that's already known, you know, like poverty. It's a poverty struck an area that used to be a, a high place for gold rushing and miners and, and then it died out. And the thing with uh, Marysville is also connected which is going south, and then the Bay Area, Sacramento happens, and which is state capital, and then, which I didn't realize there was a lot of military stuff happening there. So Chico, you know, it's all like the Bidwells, you know, it's, it, there's a lot of history here that of uh, killing um, Indians. So when they invited me to do art stuff here, murals and stuff like that, they were they were looking at me to see what I would say, you know. So there's been eyes on me and what I've been doing in art, but Hollywood itself actually um, has taken a root, root in my work. Maybe they're, you know, the good guys, which maybe, you know, the Jewish people and the, you know, the Israelites, I don't know, Mormons seem to be involved. Like, it's pretty deep, dark, stuff so all the stuff that's surrounding me personally is connected to that and if i do have some kind of sight um it's god given man it's like that's so any that's why i'm i'm not fearful um is because any gifts that i have are god given and you know i'm a human being you know, they could videotape me naked walking around or whatever if they want. But, you know, I could explain it, which I probably will, just because I have to live on this earth with my fellow humans. But, uh, but it's really all connected to trying to minimalize my gifts and what I'm doing here. I'm not, you know, and it's funny because I, I, when I hear people talk, it's like, like friends, girlfriends, people that were surrounding this, this stuff, that knew some stuff, you know, would always quest, be like, oh, why do you think you're special? Or why do you think, you know, do you really think you're, you know, important, you know, more important than you are? And I was like, or, you know, basically, do you think you're doing God's work? And I was like, you know, I'm trying. So, okay, so, but I didn't know all this other stuff. So the O-Cross and the, gives me understanding of the movie um, with the guy Wolverine, right? The Wolverine guy. Um, which came from these guys, you know? It's like, dude. But it's a cool story. It's a great story. And uh, now, that, now that I watch it, under knowing what, where they were coming from, or what elements they were putting in there, it's actually better than it was when I first watched it, or first 20 times I watched it, or 10 times. I didn't watch it 20 times, but I, uh, recent, during Netflix, during 2011, I actually, uh, or 10 or 9, or whatever, 10, 9, 9, 8, even, 7, 2007. When Heroes came out, uh, that movie, I got it on DVD, and but I didn't really watch it all kinds because it was kind of boring, but it was good, I liked it, but it was, and it kind of, frustrated me that they were trying to that they like I explained before in the videos that they're you know it wasn't what I wanted to use in my creations but now that I get the the cancer thing now the movie makes sense and why they added that in so so now I'm 100% sure that that movie came from my storyline and the thing with the avatars when they were kids i also drew them and it's in the book you know like any reference that they use in the book is in their story so you know and this is the thing these people around me and the people that i've met and you know they get it and you know this is why i probably haven't hung out with anybody that i actually know um for the last five years 
and you know been able not been able to talk to him or you know just been uh, alienated from everybody um, other than the media family that's harassing me for you know for things that they are in charge of over me by the people that are been hunting me and us for the longest time. So, you know, it all came to this this life and death situation where some people died and some people didn't die. Some people got money and things from whatever organizations they got them from. And some people like myself didn't. So I'm in this conundrum of stuff and all the people that I've been working with and talking to and uh, being intimate with women and you know friends that we've hung out have been part of involved or part of this, this little storyline for a really long time man and I don't know what like how dark it gets but there must be some deaths and from what I can tell, there must be a murder or some weird shit. And that, I mean, fuck it, dude, it goes crazy, dude. Like they've been, you know, saying that my son isn't really my son, you know, which could be possible. So I don't know if they took a hair thing. Like I said, his mom's been really involved in all this shit. So I'm pretty pissed off, you know what I mean? Like. From what I could tell, she was a nice person, and maybe she is, and, you know, they suffered some losses on, in her family. But the fact that they were actually involved in my story and involved in lying to me and ushering me through this fucking sea of crap. Uh, and nobody told me, you know, no, I don't know if how much people knew or what they knew but the reality is nobody even said hey buddy check this out watch out for this or hey so you know and the things that they they're questioning me on are you know thinking that I need to talk about or that's more important than everything else the shit that I could uh, um, break apart really easy and show what it what really happened but uh but this other stuff is you know like i said you know it's dangerous and by just saying this stuff could mean somebody will just call the mark or whatever so i was a mark and i'm pissed off and fuck dude if i die fuck it you know what i mean like I'll die and then whatever happens next, you know. But I'm not gonna live. I've been living under foot for a really long time. And I don't like it. I don't like being lied to. I don't like being talked to down to. I don't like strangers fucking saying stupid shit. Um, thinking that I'm not gonna fucking slap them in the fucking face. So right there is Kurt Cobain, right? So all these uh, fucking uh, famous people and Hollywood people fucking I don't know what the fuck you know what I mean like I really don't I don't know but Kurt Cobain himself somehow might have been involved in some shit so I don't know I mean I appreciate the people that stand up for truth and justice and want the best for people. I appreciate the artists that defend other artists because they understand uh, the social uh, the social innuendos that normal people act act up around celebrities and people that are talented or people that are extra gifted in a certain area. And, you know, 
people get jealous or people want to, you know, throw fucking milkshakes at them or fucking like that movie, The Weatherman, when they fucking, the guy's Nicolas Cage is the weatherman and people talking shit about his kids or people fucking uh, throwing fucking slurpees in his face and shit or driving by. And that's what I've been under right now. And these fucking people, it's like the age of fucking mediocre people and shit you know you get online you, and I, you know your causes fucking you guys want free fucking school you want fucking abortion or not abortion or have fucking bathrooms fucking everyone could go to the same bathroom that's fine whatever the fuck dude but that has nothing to do with fucking disrespect and and acting up and and your little if you're not gonna fucking do the work to be good at something or to to get the story right, you know, if you're fucking not uh, an achiever, don't hate on people that are fucking doing shit, because that's how I feel. It's like, dude, you guys fucking, how do, if, if people really knew what was going on and what the fuck I had to do to even be a good artist, you guys fucking, you know, that's where it would be. But, so these people that say stupid mark remarks, whether they're kids, and it's like these adults, it's like, dude, you're sending your kids to fucking say stupid shit, or it's online, and the, whoever the fuck wrote the shit isn't showing their face. So, really, I've been waiting to say this for fucking ever, and it's really, fuck you, because you guys are fucking uh, the problem. You're the fucking problem of this whole world that fucking your lack of respect and lack of, of fucking humanity and justice and fucking, you know, I've been playing by the rules for a really long time. I've tried my best to do the best that I could and to be disrespected by the groups of people and having shit about me online that I don't even know about for years, you know? And it's not even fucking normal people. This is shit coming from the top. So, you guys may be spitting in my face as I walk by, but you fucking, the handcuffs that are on me are fucking from the top. So don't act like you guys got power over me or fucking are better than anything that I've ever done. Or fucking, you know, kids, people that are in their 20s and shit. We all, when I was a teenager to my 20s, I thought I knew it all. I thought I was, I fucking, had the answers and that my shit didn't stink and so when you when they send kids and they do their coups or they do their fucking little fucking school protests whatever country they want to take over they do that shit because the kids are stupid they want they're idealistic and they don't really get it they don't understand fucking the powers that be are moving in for in hundreds of years not in, you know, but the power of youngsters and youth or whatever is good, you know, like the 60s movements and stuff. But the reality is brainwashed. You're brainwashed by media, you're brainwashed by your fucking little cartoons and your fucking social media shit. You know, you can make fun of people. But the reality is these people have achieved more than you ever will do. So until you're able to even go through the fire, you're fucking spitting on warriors that fucking are making this world better. So when you spit, whether you're a fucking old man that's never, or a fucking homeless, whatever, I've seen it all. FBI agents, undercovers, all you fucking dudes that fucking work for fucking somebody that your job is to fucking uh, watch us and and keep us in line and you're thinking, you feel important by playing your video games and shit. The truth is, you're, if you stood face to face with any of us that have walked through the fire, you fucking, you wouldn't say shit and you would cower. So, you know, you could act tough online. You guys could act fucking like you got some kind of moral fucking uh, superiority to those that have actually walked through the fire and, and are being, gunned down by fucking bad powers 
Like, Sinead O'Connor, shit, she fucking gave up her life for people. And she got repaid by fucking being put on drugs and fucking called crazy. And what the fuck did you guys do? You guys fucking, you guys don't listen to her music. You guys don't even know her real story. You, you know, she had to fucking try to conform to you guys. And she's fighting, you know, it's a, fuck. it's a fucking tough battle. Anybody and everybody that's fucking fought for you guys, you guys spit in their fucking face and you guys let the powers that be spit in their face. So no, you, you know, respect is zero when it comes to, to the human race. Fucking, you know, it might be good people here and there, like, but most of us cower when shit really hits the fan. And you can make fun of it, you know, make jokes about it. But the reality is you guys are all brainwashed. We're all brainwashed. We all are watching the TV, watching the news, re looking at Facebook, you know. Artists, like I've been saying, is, is a great equalizer to politics because you cannot create great art without truth, you know? And you can't be in politics with the truth, you can't. So the equalizer, you know, as we get gunned down and, and minimalized and, and, and silenced and, you know, in my case, you know, just run down, you know, run down till I'm in, in a fucking trailer park in Oroville. You know, so these promises that have been made or whatever, you know, using my work to create their storylines because the understanding that the Native American story is, they didn't even hit on the Native American story because it's that dangerous. It's so dangerous to the reality of America and England that they will talk about it in metaphors but not add in the Native Americans. They've been wanting to stomp, stomp us out for since they got here. And that's the reality. So if you fucking write me down in your fucking history books and talk shit about me and try to make me a bad guy, put that in there and shit because the reality you guys think I'm alien or fucking my shit is fucking from the devil that's not the truth you guys the truth is what everyone else been saying for the whole time you know that that peace and love will not be met with with kindness in this world and those that of those of us that fight for it or you know that put it out there will be minimalized and, and destroyed. Bob Marley, John Lennon, Bob Dylan, Tupac, JFK, Martin Luther King. I mean, fuck, dude, the list goes on and on and on and on. Bruce Lee, Jimi Hendrix, fucking Jim Morrison, fucking, uh, you know, all these artists, poets, you know, fucking the guy from Rage Against the Machine is happening currently. Who knows what's really going on in his life and fucking the powers that be. Um, you know, Picasso fucking, the Nazis came to his house and fucking looked through his art when he did his painting and they said, oh, why do you paint this or why did you create this? He said, I didn't paint, create that, you did. Did you get it? I'm painting this shit, this nuclear bomb. I didn't fucking create the nuclear bomb. I didn't drop that shit on Hiroshima. I didn't drop that shit on fucking those islands that the people lived on. That fucking, that's why the story that we created is, was hitting on shit that really happened. And that's why I'm in the place where I'm at in a fucking Mason, Freemason fucking building being videoed and fucking shit uh, for whatever reason, you know? I mean, maybe uh, Donald Trump is a good guy. Maybe there is a group of people that actually want to do good. Maybe the fucking Freemasons are good people that 
want to try to make the world better, which is their write-ups. Maybe. When I went to fucking work in, uh, in 2015 with my uncle Pilo, which lost his house and got his house, when I got there, got a chance to buy a house because I've worked at his site that would say stupid shit like, Oh, why they gotta do me like that? Referencing Michael Jackson and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like fucking my own family and shit. Doing their little fucking funny shit. Uh, while I was fucking handcuffed by real shit. So maybe they didn't know the real story or maybe they thought some of these stories were true and maybe they were involved in fucking some of this shit as I walked, as I got to hang out with them during this time. I love my family. I always love my family. But shit gets broken down just like every rapper always says and shit. They, they fucking turn on you and shit. You show them a little bit of money. They fucking, they'll switch up on you and shit. So I don't know about everybody involved, but, you know, I'm not living a fucking another year with questions, with all these questions. You got something to say? Then say it. If you got something to say particularly to me, uh, you know, say it because... We're getting all getting old and shit. This shit's already fucking. I'm getting become an old man soon, and I'm not fucking being nice to anybody that's been involved in this story. Uh, uh, involved in me uh, by either the setting me up or fucking uh, lying to me and shit, and fucking pretty much burying me and shit been buried and shit. I know everybody else is living their life, having their kids and raising their family and fucking selling their weed and fucking whatever the fuck you guys are doing, buying your motorcycles and houses and shit. D doesn't matter the promises that they've, the little carrots that they're offering me, that they maybe said, oh, he's gonna, if he fucking does this, he's gonna, he gets this. I know my family loves me. I know they gotta love their own kids more. So that's the, and I can't hate anybody for loving their own family more, saving their children from the powers that be. But I just can't be friends with you. And if you move on me, just fucking have enough decency just to not even fucking talk to me. Don't, don't fucking be involved in the fuck up, these people that are surrounding me because I'm not changing, I'm not fucking backing down. And the women that have been involved in this storyline we got, we still have a reckoning. And I hope you guys watch this because you don't under, your storyline is not the storyline that started this shit. Your importance to the storyline is only a hook that happened in fucking the fucking killing of the red man. And the fucking whitewashing of the fucking what happened and shit. They fucking destroyed my family and shit. They fucking, those drug dealers and the fucking people that let the drugs in have been destroying the community for a long old time. Shit goes deep and shit. If I'm smart enough and it's like, dude, you got to be stupid not to understand and shit. If God has me and I'm still alive and I make it through this, it is because God. And if I die, that's fine, Mustafa. I've, the only person I got to answer to is God. All you other people that are living in the same world I'm living in, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of your family. But don't get my story wrong because they're gonna be talking a lot of shit and I'll go through all the shit because that's how pissed off I am. And you know, when I cuss and use vulgarity and do what I need to do, if you guys wanna use my sexuality against a human being, like you guys, Put a camera in your own bedroom and put that shit out on the people to watch everybody watch and your whole family watch. And then we can call it even. Shit. But until then, you guys can fucking use whatever they got on me. But I'm not fucking bowing down to you guys and shit. And so it's already 50 minutes. Let's see. So the hero storyline has been used. The Avatar is great. They guys created their own greatness. Those beautiful, great stories. But 
Fuck that shit. I don't know who Siler is, who killed people. If that's a real person, that they fucking something really happened and shit. I don't know. But uh, it's not me. And uh, you know, fucking, I'm not the Avatar either and stuff. Like, fuck, dude. Like, what the hell? Like, I love these characters. I love fucking superheroes, but I create my own stories and don't be brainwashed by it's that shit's a weapon and it's strong it's fucking it's it's our memories when you watch a movie watch a tv show whatever it becomes a memory in your mind that you're always going to reference so whatever they use if they put a character that looks like me talks like me moves like me and they do whatever that shit's going to be in your brain and you're going to believe you're going to associate that with me forever and they do that bit they did that with john lennon they did that with jfk they've done that with all these dudes all these actors and directors and you know and they did it i just watched this thing with stalin and shit i don't know his real story i don't know these guys real stories these politician stories but some of the outcomes are pretty bad and if you're an enemy of the state then it's tough man i'm not trying to be aggressive i'm not trying to be uh pessimistic because the reality is there's too much good stuff in the world too much beautifulness in the world too much beautifulness in my fellow human beings that it's actually way more powerful than all these bad things that we talk about and I'm talking about and and these TV shows news people keep putting in front of us to make us fight each other you know there's too there's more unracist people than there are racist people but when you have to take sides because of you're fearful it's a problem you know so that's my message. My main message is that. That's my always been my message. So, you know, one thing is is having money and, and things is not a bad thing. You know, so that's for the poor people, people that are religious and stuff like that. That's not a... a a good uh, a good thing for your integrity is that you hate money that's not the reality of it or that you're a bad person because you have money that's not the reality of it either the problem is greed if you want more than you deserve or more if you want something that you didn't earn or something that's not yours then that's the problem so I've been working on myself and my art and my work for my whole life. And if I gotta break some walls down to get where I want as a man, then I'm gonna have to. And that's something that we that I've been afraid of, that's been a problem that I have, is I haven't been very confrontational in my life uh, as far as, you know, human interaction. So I have to defend my art which I've been doing, now I have to defend my life, which I've been doing, and I have to defend my integrity and my, my, my choices in life, and I'm gonna, so that's, that's where we're at. So it's almost an hour into this, and uh, I wish, I'll try to get to these paintings, but I'm gonna work on these paintings, and I'll explain them as I go later.